In this video, I am going to describe to you a very, very powerful self-healing technique. This can work for whether it's just aches and pains, perhaps it's a headache, perhaps it's too, if you suffer from asthma, to slow down the buildup of asthma to relieve the system, perhaps it's to help you relieve yourself from side effects <clears throat> of certain medications you're taking. And perhaps you could possibly even use this to heal yourself from illnesses and diseases. Now I'm not saying don't or do this instead of seeking a Western medical advice, not at all. But you can use this as a tool to help your body because we all know medications do not heal. Medications create thinking of your body as a machine, create a way for your body to be able to heal itself, yes? So what we're doing, we're going to create a state within our bodies, mentally and energetically, to create this situation so our bodies can heal. Like I said, it can work for general aches and pains, even if just relieving soreness from going to the gym, or headaches, or colds, or whatever. It's a very, very powerful technique. And as I said, it might even help do bigger things, bigger illnesses, bigger diseases. It has been known to do this. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome to Becoming a Better You, I am Skeed. Now this technique is called the Middle Pillar Technique. And it was, or there is a guy that is known for creating this technique. His name is Israel Rogardi. He is very, very famous in certain circles, but generally speaking, he's not that well known. If you're interested in him, do a YouTube search, look him up. I'm not gonna tell you about him, his history, why he's famous, etc. But he is, so if you're interested. Now, this technique is Western Hermeticism, Western Kabbalah. Well, Kabbalah is Western. It's Western occultism, if you were. Now, don't worry, it's nothing to do with the occult, if you're not interested in the occult. It's more to do with sort of like Tai Chi, Qi Gong, Nei Gong. It's more internal alchemy. Now, this middle pillar technique, we have this middle pillar running through us. In yoga, you could call that the kundalini and the chakras. And yes, this does use certain energy centers within the body, but it doesn't use the yogic ones. It doesn't use the Egyptian ones. It just uses five very simple areas that we have to concentrate on. Each area that we concentrate on is about the size, more or less about the size of your head, maybe a bit smaller, maybe a bit bigger. So where are they located? The first one, is just above your head. The second one is in your throat. The third one is in your heart. Then the next one is not where you might think it is, in your navel, it's around your genitals, sort of like your root chakra area. And then the fifth one is, if you're standing with your feet slightly apart, it will be located literally where your feet are. So half in the ground, half out the ground. Those are the five places. And then obviously these are right in the center of your body and there is a middle pillar running through those, running right through the center of your body. Now this middle pillar, whilst it's one column, energies can run up the left and down the right, up the front and down the back and vice versa of this column. And so we're going to use these places and this column to create a state so our immune systems can get into balance, so we can relax the body, relax the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, so we can start a powerful healing process. So how do we go about this? Right, we have, as we said, five areas. Obviously, those five areas relate to five elements, yes? We have above the head. If you know anything about yoga, anything about practices, what do you reckon that above the head area is going to represent? Yes, of course, it's the ether, it's the electromagnetism, it's the whatever you want to call it, yeah? We have that area above our heads. Then we have the throat. The throat represents 
What would you reckon? Yes, of course, it represents the air. Then we have the heart. What does the heart represent in this? It is like the fire. It is the, the power station of the body. Again, it makes perfect sense. Then we go down to the genital areas. And of course, this element, which will it be? The genital area? Yes, of course, it will be the water element. And then between our feet, of course, that is going to be the earth element. It's all very simple, common sense stuff. When you think about it in the spiritual practices, the element related ways to go about things. And then if it helps you, yes, each of these balls of light, each of these chakras, as it were, has a color. So the top one, of course, is going to be white. Yes, because it's the ether, it's everything, it's the universe, etc. The throat. The throat, you might want to go for a purple, but it's more of a lavender color. Now, yes, this is different to the chakra system because people might say, hang on a sec, that's blue. Yes, but in this system, it's sort of like a lavender color. And yes, lavender does have many tones. So choose the tone of the lavender that you prefer the most. Then we go to the heart. And yes, that's going to be fire, fire, red. Why is it red? Because again, we could say green. Well, there are two chakra systems. And in one of them, it actually says the heart is red rather than green. And this one is using the red color. Then we go down to the genitals, the water. Yes, of course, that's blue. And then we go down to the earth, which is a sort of earthy color. It's a clay color. It's um a dark brown, a rich dark brown, red color, something like that, just, just to help you locate. So it's white, lavender, red, blue, and clay or earth color. Yeah, got that. And we've got this middle pillar, right? This middle pillar, and you just can, can flow up it and flow down it. What we're going to do, we're going to imagine the descent of energy will come on the left hand side of our body and the ascent, the energy going up, will go up the right side of the body, obviously. We also then have the descent down the front of the body and the ascent up the back, just like in Nei Gong. So we have two ways, up and down. So we have two ways, up and down. Yeah, down, left and the back, up, right and the front. We're going to be from the top above our heads, that chakra, down to the bottom one. We're going to be running energy up and down. We're going to be running circuits. So the first time we do this, we're going to start. We're not starting yet. I'm just explaining how we do this. You start at the top in the ball. Once we've got all these figured out, we're going to concentrate on those on a minute. I just want to explain it all first. You start with the energy at the top. You come down the left side, all the way to the center between the feet, up the right side. Yes, this is a standing practice. You can do it sitting. You can do it lying down, but it is a practice that's better to do standing. So down the left, up the right, between those two spheres, between those two chakras. And we're going to do that six times. Once we've done that six times, we're then going to switch and go up the back and down the front six times. Once we've done it for the sixth time and the last time we finish at the top, we're going to imagine the energy is so powerful. It sort of explodes out the top of our head and rains down the sides, sort of like a waterfall raining down. And then when it gets to the bottom, it collects again between our feet and then comes up our middle pillar through the whole middle pillar and just flows round like a vortex. Yes, the famous electromagnetical vortex. We've talked about that before in other videos. So it's getting this system going to then go into the electromagnetical field of our heart that vortex and get it flowing round. It's a very powerful technique. So how do we do this? Well, it is, it's a meditation technique. It's a meditation ritual. So we start by focusing, first of all, on the white ball above our hips. And as we focus our attention on that, we're going 
to say the words. A A Ye 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 If you can do this out loud, that's absolutely brilliant and really vocalize those sounds. If you have to do it in silence, that's fine. Just imagine, although it's silent, that those sounds are extending out to the infinite of the universe. Once we've got that vibrating nicely, powerful, white, we then go to the throat and we go a ha a a 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 a ha a until your throat is vibrating nicely in the whole area around it. Then we go to the heart, and we say, a o a a o a a o a a o a a o a a o a a o a a o a a o a a o a until we're getting that heart area vibrating nicely. Then we move down to the water, to the genitals. This one changes slightly. This is shad di el ki. Yeah, I've got these written down to make sure I say them absolutely perfectly for you guys. Maybe my pronunciation is slightly off, but it really doesn't matter if your intention is fully behind it. Sha di el ki. 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 Until we have the genital chakra vibrating nicely. Then we move down to the earth between our feet, and it's Adonai, 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 Adonai. Like a mantra. It's just repeating a mantra of these words. So we do the top one, then the next one, then the third one, fourth one, fifth one. Once we have all these areas vibrating nicely and smoothly, all about the same vibration, we can then start the flow of energy starting at the top, goes down the left, the right, it's one circuit, two circuits, three circuits, four circuits, five circuits, six circuits, up the back, down the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, up it comes, explodes out down, gets collected between our feet and comes up. I'll repeat. Head. A I E A I E A I E A I E A I E. Imagining the white. A I E A I E A I E. Throat. Imagining the lavender. A ha e 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 A ha e. The heart. The water. The genital. Of course, the fire was red. Earth, Adonai, 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 Adonai. Vibrating nicely, they're vibrating evenly. Boom, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, obviously it goes down the inside of your left leg, up the inside of your right leg. And we change to the front, goes down the front of the body, back up where the spine is, down, back up where the spine is, down, back up. Where the spine is, down, back up where the spine is, down, back up where the spine is, down, explodes out and collects down. The more you practice this exercise, you can see it doesn't really take long with practice. You don't necessarily have to say the sounds, it will make it far easier. You'll learn them very quickly. Once you've got them, you can practice this very quickly, you can practice this. Any time of day, in any dead space, for a couple of minutes, the more you practice this, the more 
powerful it will become. Now, as I said, I am a very healthy person. I don't need recovery from any illnesses personally. However, I do use this, for example, if I have a headache, if I've been exercising, my muscles are very stiff, if I've injured myself whilst doing exercise a bit, and it really, really helps to relieve the pain and get better much faster. And I do know people, as I said, who have used this to reduce side effects of medication, to slow down. For example, now is a time of, in the air, it's spring, allergies, to reduce the effects of the, the hay fever allergies, etc. Just calm the system down. So use it for any self-healing. And I'm talking about physical healing. Of course, you can use this for stress and anxiety, for mental healing as well. It works for both. It is a very, very powerful technique. So practice this. And if you want, as always, comment down below. If you want me to turn this into like a guided meditation for you, I can do that. I don't have a problem with that. I love making more videos for you guys. If that's what you want, I have explained it quite clearly here. You might want to run through the video a couple of times just to get those sounds, just to get the colors, the alignments. Practice it standing in front of your computer or with your mobile phone and just practice it going through it a couple of times. And then as I said, practice it as often as you can. It only takes a minute or two once you get going. Obviously, you can practice it for longer, 10 minutes, half an hour a day. You don't need to do it longer than that. But the more times throughout the day you do it, the more you will balance, the more you align yourself in your parasympathetic nervous system, the more your immune system will work more efficiently, better, more powerfully. Go do this. It is a great exercise. I highly recommend it. That's it. If you do it, comment down below on your experiences, how it helps you. Share this video with anyone you think might need it, anyone taking medication with side effects, anyone who suffers from headaches, from stress, anxiety, depression, so they can use this technique to improve their lives too and so they can become better. Okay, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another video.